Uh, we're very excited to see all your faces. I know it's early. Thank you for coming on this Sunday morning. Um, we're going to get jump right into it. First, we have Dean Hugh Courtney of the DeMorey McKim School of Business. So let's give him a warm welcome. Well, thanks, everyone, and uh, welcome. Delighted to see you all here on Sunday morning. Um, I know for some of you students, this is particularly early on a, a Sunday morning, but uh, if you're pursuing uh, business jobs, get used to it, right? <laughs> uh, no such thing as the five-day uh, work week, and uh, uh, mornings, uh, you'll find, are the most productive time of your life. Uh, they, at least they are for, for me and many of my colleagues. Um, I'm delighted. Uh, it's a you know, great honor and pleasure to welcome you all here to our inaugural Northeastern University Collegiate Alternative Investment Summit. Uh, and on behalf of the faculty, staff, students, and alumni of the DeMoore McKim School of Business here, I'm really happy you're here. Um, I'm particularly excited that you're here uh, because I'm really impressed by the work that has gone in to create what I think is just an outstanding event uh, with thought leaders from many different sectors that will bring many different perspectives to one of the most crucial you know, uh, sectors, uh, the crucial sectors of the financial uh, services market. And if you think about kind of the global uh, financial markets and the role that alternative investments play in it, it's just crucial that you as students and we as faculty understand them, uh, understand the players, understand the role they play in global capital flows, uh, because in the end, you know, as we all know, the global financial markets and the big players in those markets have an enormous impact on all of our lives, right? On economic growth, on uh, job creation, on trade flows, on poverty alleviation, on innovation, on the standard of living for all of us. And it's crucial, uh, not just for you as students thinking about, you know, careers, but we as leaders of our communities you know, our countries, uh, you know, our world, understand and appreciate the role that alternative investments play in creating, you know, a vibrant global economy. So, you know, the, the timing, uh, the topic are just perfect for us. Um, I, uh, thus, you know, if we're really going to learn, we need to have the right people in place. And so uh, I want to first thank all of you for being here today and encourage you to really dig in on uh, the topics today. I'm particularly thankful for our speakers, our panelists, our moderators, students and faculty that have uh, given so much of their time to prepare for today and to, to share their thoughts with you. But remember, they're counting on you as well to make this a tremendous learning experience. So make this as interactive as possible. You have this unique opportunity. You have thought leaders from all these different sectors. Please dig in. Uh, or Cheryl Sandberg uh, has said recently, lean in. Lean in hard today. Uh, it serves everyone well. Um, I want to give a special thanks uh, to some of my colleagues, first at the DeMoore McKim uh, School of Business. I want to thank uh, Nikki Boyson, Professor Nikki Boyson, and, and Elliot Sherman, who have been uh, the faculty leads on, on this project, and uh, really do want to thank them. I want to thank Anne. I see Anne Benware out there, who has been leading the project from the DeMar McKim side in terms of helping to make all this great stuff uh, happen today. Uh, of course, they would all agree, though, that they've played uh, relatively minor bit parts in this relative to the student team uh, that has driven this. Um, I am uh, very proud of the student team that has run with this project. Um, didn't come out of a class, didn't come out of a club, uh, weren't forced to do it, no one asked them to do it. Uh, they saw the value uh, about a year ago and, and created this. And uh, as many of you may know, I just joined uh, Northeastern about nine months ago. And uh, one of the main reasons I came is that I saw that entrepreneurial spirit in the students here. And uh, it never fails to impress me. Uh, we have uh, real leaders here who run with an idea and make things happen. And when I saw how this uh, conference was coming together and the quality of the speakers and attendees, I was really, really thankful um, and impressed by that work. So I want to thank the, the student team. Um, and it's um, really just indicative overall of our emphasis on experiential education uh, at Northeastern. You all know about our co-op program, which we're very proud of, of course. Um, but it extends beyond that. 
this is again what I think is quintessential ex um, you know, example of experiential education in, in action where uh, you know, a group of students see an opportunity and figure out how to get it done. There was no blueprint for it. Uh, there were undoubtedly some mistakes uh, along the way, but I can guarantee you a lot of learning happened uh, that will uh, never would have gotten in a traditional classroom. That's what happens here, and again, that's why I'm so uh, proud to be a part of Northeastern University and the Demore McKim School of Business. Um, and given all this praise on the student team, I'm uh, particularly excited next to uh, introduce um, uh, one of the co-leaders of this initiative who's really been uh, driving it on the student team. That's Nico Lara. Lara. Thanks, Nico. Thank you, Dean Courtney. Um, so my name is Nico Lara. I'm president of the Northeastern Collegiate Alternative Investment Summit, or as many of you know it as uh, NU Case. Um, I would like to take this opportunity to welcome you to Northeastern University Collegiate Alternative Investments 2013 inaugural event. It is a great honor and privilege to be here today to learn and to establish relationships with the next generation of financial professionals. I hope that we have prepared for you, it will be fun and exciting, um, and furthermore that you will take advantage of this un unique opportunity to develop relationships with many of the students sitting around you right now. Throughout this journey and preparation for today's event, what I enjoyed most was meeting each of these individuals you will hear from today and learning about what they do, why they do it. Um, we are among some of the brightest and most experienced ind industry professionals and academics in the realm of alternative investments who have traveled as far as Angola and London today to come to speak to you. Many of you here today represent some of the top universities in the world, but more importantly share a common interest in learning about what direction private equity, venture capital, and hedge fund industries are headed. In recent years, alternative investment classes such as private equity, venture capital, hedge funds have become increasingly important pools of capitals, capital in the global financial system. Today is about bridging the knowledge gap between alternative investments and all of us, the influx of young and talented, aspiring investment professionals. Um, I would like to thank the D. Moore McKim School of Business, our corporate sponsors, MFS, John Hancock, and State Street, as well as NU Alumni Development, NUFIC, NU Women in Business, and our partnership with London School of Economics Alternative Investment Conference. A special thank you to Ann Benware, um, Professor Boyson, and Professor Sherman for taking your time to help us uh, make this all possible. Thank you. Um, without further ado, uh, let's get started. <laughs> 